Hey, in this video I'm going to explain a little bit about white balance, a little bit about colour grading, some easy tips you can take away and start doing right now. Before we get into it, if you're new to my channel and you want to be kept informed of all my content which will help you grow your own channel, I'll help you improve your videos and your sound, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that alarm bell. Go on, you know you want to. And then you have all my cool stuff. Ah. So if you're just starting out and you're new to cameras and you're new to video, you may or may not have heard about white balance and about colour grading. You're not really sure what it is, you're not sure if you care, and heck, you know, people who've been doing photography and video for years and have never bothered with this. They just leave everything on auto and everything seems to be fine, they don't seem to worry about it. And then you'll be shooting your video, you'll go to check it in your editing software and suddenly you look like this. You look like Donald Trump having a bad tan day and you don't know what happened and it's all gone horribly wrong, what do you do? And then at this point, you you know, you may well put a post out there or you'll do some Googling and then you're going to get all the photography snobs going, eh, you guys should have used video log or you should have used a custom white balance or you, you got all your colour temperatures wrong, eh. And you're like, what? And then they're going to tell you, you eh, you got to set your flange capacitance values to 56,000 K Kelvins and you need to learn all these things because you're not really rubbish unless you, eh. Okay, you know what you know who I'm. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about here, right? And I haven't got time for that. I, who, we're making videos. Here's here's and here's a thing of many things. We're making videos that most people are going to watch on their phones. We do we really have time to set up our color temperature and make custom color profiles? I may have daylight coming in from that window. I may not. I might not get my my light at exactly the right setting every time. I don't have a camera operator. I don't have time to do that. I'm guessing you don't too. I mean, you probably don't even care. We're not making professional photo grade posters here we're going to be selling to you know life magazine or something okay what we want is good enough and that's all we're trying to do here is good enough for the platform good enough for our medium so we don't look like you know oranges and we want to do it quickly and easily stay tuned so sure in later videos i actually will be going into you know cine and uh, custom white balance and you know different color formats and all of that stuff that will be fine and for those who are interested you'll have a great time you can geek out on all your advanced color settings in your camera but for most people or if you aren't if you're using a camera that doesn't even have all that stuff you want to be able to get it right easily so here's all you have to do get yourself a white slate. Now these are really easy to use. Uh, this is an easy balance card from Manfrotto and um, it's white on one side like this and the other side is an 18% grey target slate and they're really easy to use. The white side is for white balance, the grey side is for exposure, we're not worrying about exposure at the moment and all you have to do is hold it up to your face at the start of your video or really at any point in the video. It's important you do it here at the point where the skin tones are most important. If you notice my back is blue and if I put it back here you'll see you'll have greens and blues and all kinds of colors coming on it but right here it's nice and white and my face my skin tone is the thing that you really want to get right here you don't really care about what colors the background are going to be because it's just a prop then you download all your software to your editing tool you click in the color option uh, this will vary depending on what software you use and popping up on the screen right now will be a couple of um, way ways to do this in Premiere or in Vegas or whatever tool you're using and you literally go into the color tool you select the white balance eyedropper and then you just click in the middle of this you just click white balance there and you set that at the start of your video and boom your color is done you can hit the auto button uh, depending on again depending on the software you're using premiere has an auto button to do this vegas is a very similar tool and that'll adjust all your other colors that's probably going to be good enough you no know, by all means tweak yourself silly but this is all i do for pretty much all my videos unless i've got a really challenging light scenario and that's it a white slate is such an easy way of getting your white balance then easily now a couple of caveats here there are lots of different versions of these on the market be very wary of the extremely cheap ones from unknown companies they often use odd fabrics that reflect the light in a strange way that probably won't make things worse but you probably don't want to go that cheap you know these are about 20 or 30 pounds you can get like passport ones you can get ones that go on your keychain you can get some very expensive professionally graded ones buy one if you want to i you know i 
don't need that. But that's it. That's all you have to do. Now I've put some links in the description below for the white balancing tools that I use. And I basically have this and I also have the passport one. Uh, handy to keep out and about with you. And all you have to do at the start of shooting, just hold that up. Now these are a little bit big to carry around with you everywhere. But the passport card size ones are not much bigger than a credit card. You may have to zoom in to get it just right. Or you can hold it a little closer. But just, re just remember to keep it close to your skin. Because the skin tones are where you want your white reference point to be at. That is it. It's as simple as that. That's how to get white balance and basically get your colours pretty accurate with almost no effort whatsoever. I hope you found this useful. As always, please comment, like, share, subscribe, dislike. All engagement is good. Popping up on the right will be, or maybe the left, I can never remember, will be the last video I put out and the video that YouTube thinks you most want to watch next. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the very next show. Bye-bye.